Hello, today I want to give you a first look at a brand new CPU colour from BeQuiet. It's the Shadow Rock Slim 2, which is one of BeQuiet's compact CPU colours. Now this colour features TDP of 160 watts. It's got a brushed aluminium top cover and features a 135mm fan. And as you'd expect from BeQuiet, it's incredibly quiet with noise levels of less than 28 decibels. The cutter is available from today, priced at around about 45 US dollars. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install the cutter and give you a closer look at it. Okay, I'm going to show you how to install the cutter. I've got an X570 motherboard and an AM4 socket. There is separate mounting kit for installing this on an Intel motherboard. So if you've got an Intel motherboard, the process may be slightly different from what I'm showing here. First thing for us to do is to remove these two clips. Each is held on with two screws. Next, we're going to want to put a spacer over each of the corners. Then we've got two of these brackets, one to go on each side. At each end, there's two holes. One is labelled AM4, so I'm going to go ahead and put the screws through the holes labelled AM4 and then lower them down over the spacers. And then we can go ahead and secure this into place with a screwdriver. Next we can go ahead and add a P-sized amount of thermal paste to the centre of the CPU. The thermal paste is included. Next, we can go ahead and remove the plastic protection from the bottom of the CPU cooler. Then we just need to slide this little metal bar into the middle of the CPU cooler. There we go. Then we can go ahead and lower the CPU cooler down, lining the brackets up. Importantly, making sure the BeQuiet logo is the right way up. Then we can go ahead and secure the cooler to the bracket using a screw on each side. Then we can go ahead and line our fan up with the CPU cooler, taking one of the little metal clips and putting it in through the holes on the fan. Then all we need to do is squeeze here and the clips will then hold the fan into place. Same thing on the top. And then that's the fan secured into place. Final thing to do is just tuck the cable in out of the way, bringing it up towards the top of the motherboard and then plugging the cable into the CPU fan header at the top of the motherboard. And then all the excess cable in and out of the way. Okay, so that's the cutter installed, and I think you'll agree it looks great. But now we come on to the important bit of how well it performs. So you may or may not have noticed during the installation, in this system I've got a Ryzen 9 5900X, which isn't an easy CPU to cool. And in general, you would go with a much more powerful CPU cutter than this single fan cooler. I would recommend something like the Dark Rock Pro 4 or a 360mm AIO. So we are asking an awful lot of this CPU cooler. Looking at the temperatures at idle, the CPU idled at 35 degrees, which was only 3 degrees higher than the idle temperatures using BeQuiet's Silent Loop 2 360mm AIO. During a 20 minute IDA64 stability test, our CPU reached a maximum temperature of 91 degrees, which was 7 degrees higher than using the 360mm AIO. Now that temperature of 91 degrees might sound particularly high, but actually the IDA64 stability test is a really extreme test, and actually I'm pretty impressed with that temperature. Moving on to the noise levels, and this was one of the first things I noticed with the Shadow Rock Slim 2. It was incredibly quiet. At idle, the noise from the system was only 30 decibels, which was 4 decibels less than using the 360mm Silent Loop 2 AIO. During the IDA64 stability test, the average noise levels were 45 decibels, which were 5 decibels less than when using the Silent Loop 2 360mm AIO. So, putting everything together, I'm incredibly impressed with the Shadow Rock Slim 2 from BeQuiet. I think this is a great looking cooler, it does a great job of cooling, and all at very low noise levels. 
And particularly when you factor in the price of the CPU cooler at only 45 US dollars, you're getting incredible value for money. And I think this is definitely one of the best budget CPU coolers that money can buy. So I hope you find the video useful. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.